We all know that Sunshot and even Polaris Lance are having their moment in the sun at the minute, mainly thanks to how powerful the artifact is in terms of the mods that benefit it with Radiant, but this one is absolutely cooking and is way, way better than the Sunshot one and Polaris Lance doesn't even hold a candle to it. I've got to apologise for my croaky throat, I've, got, I've just got a cold that just keeps on giving this festive period, but we've got to keep going and we've got to crack on. Speaking of cracking on, where in the wide world of sports is the Graviton Lance coming from? Well it's coming from this and it's coming hard and it's going to destroy everything, it's going to create loads of void mess, it's going to synergize perfectly with your strand builds and it absolutely is one of the best endgame builds that I've tried this season. It's perfect in the dungeon, it's perfect in raids, it's perfect in the nightfalls, it'll do the business and it'll do everything you need to do from dealing with trash ads, dealing with champions and also doing good top tier damage to bosses and mini bosses alike. So what makes Graviton Lance so special in this build? So it recently got an update to its range drop off and also to its rate of fire so it actually fires a little bit quicker now and is absolutely devastating. It also comes with that voopy special sound that is just absolutely iconic to the sound of Graviton Lance but it's not just that, it's the cosmology perk which is going to cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track to other targets. Now these void projectiles just absolutely have a mind of their own, sometimes you don't even need to be using the gun on a target, one of the void projectiles will just go off, more void projectiles will just spawn and you'll just wonder what the hell's going on and it, it's because of that void projectile tracking that just has some perfect synergy with this strand build. But more importantly, it has perfect synergy with Nezarak Sin. This is quintessential void warlock and Nezarak Sin just has everything going for it. I mean if you haven't been using it recently then I can probably understand why, I mean obviously the artifact is solar strand stasis related but Nezarak Sin offers you some absolutely insane uptime of your abilities and when paired with Graviton Lance you're pretty much going to have the Abyssal Extractor's recharge rate up all the time. Abyssal Extractor's is going to basically give you a 300% base increase in the regeneration rate of your grenade and melee energy and it's also going to give you a 200% increase to class ability regen and also your super energy as well which on a strand build with the Warlock's Broodweaver strand super being borderline one of the slowest supers in the game it just massively increases the utility and availability of that super which which again is one of the highest damage dealing supers that you can currently use especially on the warlock and like i say graviton lance is just going to rip through everything and remember the catalyst also comes with vorpal weapon so that's going to give you a 20 percent damage increase to bosses vehicles and guardians in their supers Vehicles do also include some turrets and especially them dark glowy balls that spawn in the final boss battle on the new Warlord's Ruin dungeon. And you've also got turnabout which just adds into some survivability because it's going to give you a bonus overshield when dealing with shielded enemies. Now where does this all fit into the Warlock build? Well again we're leaning back into the Wanderer which is basically one of the strongest aspects on the Broodweaver for the Strand Warlock. Now Tangles aren't going to come as easily unfortunately with this build so you're going to have to use the unravelling ability from the Arcane Needle melee attack which if you're using Graviton Lance you're going to have that melee back rapidly it's going to be always available so you're going to be always able to send out these unravelling projectiles from your melee attack and that in turn is then going to unravel targets and as we know, unraveled targets will always, always create a tangle. And these tangles then with the Wanderer are going to allow you to pick them up. You're going to be able to throw them or you're going to be able to destroy them. And this is going to create a suspending burst, which is going to suspend targets in that area. Now, because we're using Graviton Lance, it's highly likely that the void projectiles are probably going to trigger the tangles and detonate them, which isn't a problem because then the void projectiles are just going to track. They're going to destroy all the things that you've just suspended. It really is a vicious cycle and then you've got Nezarak Sin getting that regen ability back, you're going to have your Arcane Needle back or you're even going to have your Shackle Grenade back which if you're going to use this in this build you're going to want the Mind Spun Invocation aspect so you're going to consume that Shackle Grenade and you're going to use it to get Weaver's Trance which then is going to cause any and all targets that you defeat with it to create a suspended detonation which will just absolutely cause everything to basically just stop in its tracks. 
and you're just going to be able to go to Pound Town basically with Graviton Lance. It's absolutely devastating and if you haven't been using this combination yet this season then it's about time you did and Graviton Lance is really going to rock your world. Aside from all that obviously we've got all the suspending goodness going on from the Tangles, from Weaver's Trance and all the unraveled projectiles which are just going to literally be darting everywhere alongside your Graviton Lance void projectiles. It really just is a mess and a sea of green and purple going everywhere on your screen. But we've changed up some of the fragments with this setup. Obviously we set it up last time with Sunshot in mind and this one does allow you to change it just a little bit. We're still going to be wanting to create orbs of power from defeating suspended targets so we're going to want to chuck on the thread of wisdom and also these orbs of power which again we're going to create from our void siphon and also our strand siphon mods because we're going to be using the scatter signal as well as any of your favorite heavy weapons of choice which we will get to in a minute but picking up an orb of power will grant woven mail and this is going to give you that massive damage resistance which does stack with the overshield that we're going to get from turnabout from graviton lance and it just basically adds into that tank style nature not that you need it because everything's going to be suspended anyway but but here we are um woven mail it exists so we might as well use it and it's pretty much free in this setup but like i say we you may struggle a little bit in terms of getting the, the cycle going with um, just using your or just waiting for your melee or your grenade ability to come back. So by picking up an orb of power, it's going to grant us woven mail. And then because we've got the thread of transmutation on, whilst you have woven mail, you're going to be able to create a tangle from any weapon final blow. So again, this void exotic pulse rifle graviton lance is going to be able to create you a strand tangle. Now this fragment is probably slept on but in this warlock setup it just absolutely makes sense now like i said you're going to be wanting to be using your uh, favorite strand weapons whether that's scatter signal or the new sniper rifle from the dungeon or even if you want to go off on that and you want to use the new vengeful whisper ball there's a ton of great strand options um, in that top slot but one that I've been using in the bottom slot is the Semi-Artician Rocket Launcher, which was from Season of the Witch. I've crafted it, I've put Field Prep and Bipod on it. There is a few options, you can go for Frenzy, you can even go for Hatchling if you want to just create a few Fredlings from Rocket Launcher Final Blows. But this thing, although it's not in the most favourable archetype in terms of damage output with it being a high impact frame, technically it does 10% less damage than the others. But with Bipod, with Field Prep, you're getting a ton more rockets in the magazine, you're just going to be able to create a lot more damage more consistently and it, it really is up to you how you want to set it up. I've gone for hard launch, impact casing, like I say field prep and bipod. Field prep is going to give you that faster reload speed when you're crouched and then also if you want to pair that with head rush, standing up after crouching is going to also increase that reload speed so you can get off the two rockets back to back pretty much consistently it is just going to do good damage especially if you haven't managed to get yourself an apex predator yet or anything like that but obviously we've got the Mercato if you want to use that for the ad clearing potential that it offers but like i say you want to be using your strand weapons because that's going to lean into the artifact obviously you've got the unraveling orbs which are going to give your strand weapons unraveling rounds when you pick up an orb of power we're not leaning in massively on using your strand weapons for actual ad clear but if you're going to be using it for dps obviously scatter signal with the overflow control burst it really is going to do bits and it's also going to add a bit more damage to your heavy weapon of choice whether it's that rocket launcher we've just just discussed or something else but then also damaging unraveled targets with a weapon is going to occasionally spawn a threadling obviously everything's going to be pretty much unraveled in this build because you're going to be sending out them unraveled threads all the time so graviton lance is probably going to spawn your threadlings all the time and that is just going to cause mass pandemonium and these threadlings do pretty insane damage and they do scale with your weapon damage as well so if you created it with graviton lance and it goes to damage a boss it does 20 percent more damage because of that vorpal weapon perk but also you're going to want to use the thread of evolution which is going to make them travel further and also deal more damage and you're just going to clear out huge areas that section in the dungeon that's before the final boss a few peppers of your graviton lance get some threads going get some tangles going and that whole area is just going to deal with itself basically it doesn't have that synergy with the artifact that obviously 
everyone's looking at in terms of creating that synergy with Radiant, with your solar weapons, with rays of precision and all that good stuff. But it does have everything else. Obviously, you can lean into some of the origin perk specialization. So them weapons do 25% more damage when they're overcharged. Obviously, we've got the Head Rush origin trait and Dragon's Vengeance origin traits, which are going to be on our Scatter Signal and semi Semiotician. They're always overcharged. They're always doing more damage. It really is an absolute no-brainer in terms of that synergy for the artifact. And then also, you've got Wished Into Beam, which is going to spawn more orbs of power when your super is nearly full. And also, from whence you came, is going to do increased ability damage to taken and scorn enemies, which are pretty much here, there, and everywhere at the minute this season. In terms of other mods, there's not really much else that I've really thought about putting into it. Put Bomber in if you want. Font of Restoration is going to bump up your recovery. Obviously, you're going to want to run a high resilience stat as much as you can to get that high damage reduction. If you can get tier 10 for 30%, that's going to definitely help. And also, I mean, I'm a warlock, so you just run high grenade, high discipline stat as, as much as possible. And like I said, these grenades, these melee abilities, your class ability, everything is basically going to be back nearly all the time because you've just got Graviton Lance clearing out just rooms and upon room of enemies, uh, all thanks to Nezarak Sin and the Abyssal Extractors. So yeah, what about Graviton Lance? Well, there you go. That is all about it. Big shout out to Mag Dog for uh, pinging me back onto this one after I strayed. But yeah, I know a lot of people have actually been recommending Graviton Lance down in the comments of previous builds. So here it is in all its glory. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the croaky voice, but we got to crack on. Thank you very much.